Hey, it is Dave, and it is Wednesday. Um, one announcement I have is a week from tonight, there will be youth group via Zoom. And hopefully some of you can join next week. And as I will send out invites to you all. So hope to see you on Zoom next week. So last week I promised that there would be more people talking about uh, their memories from mission trips. And um, so it worked out this week. So without further ado, here they are. Hello. Um, my name is Alex Stevens. I've been attending a lot of mission trips all the way back to when I was in middle school at 13. I am now in my fourth year in college, last one, finally. <laughs> and now, every now and then, if I'm asked, I help shop around mission trips. And right now I'm speaking to you from in my car, a parked car, mind you. Uh, so yeah, one thing that I really love about mission trips is that it's not just you know volunteering and stuff like that or just it's that you learn it's more of like a character builder you know it it's when you go through like all the work that you do and meet all the people that you meet and travel and see different things out of your comfort zone it really changes you and shapes you into the person that you'll later on become in the future and without the mission trips i don't know how I would turn out to be right now. I don't know what kind of person I would be right now. One mission trip that really stood out to me the most was the um, New York mission trip. Uh, there were so many people that I met and just created a connection with. Some people that I still have contact with today on Facebook. <laughs> um, yeah, and I met, met them, I hear their stories. Half of them I related to so much, and others I just empathize with them. And just seeing just how much of, just how many people in that city thrive and survive, and just, it's, it's really humbling just to like, you know, hear like, you know, you have, you've gone through something, but to hear someone else go through situations that you have as well, and just hearing other stories that are just worse than yours, that's just really humbling. And it just, really makes you makes you think about the rest of the world and not just about where you are who where you live and not just about yourself you know it really makes you think about like others others perspectives on life and just seeing how they live their life how you live their life and it's just a create um a beautiful thing really just to see how different everything is it's really unique that's the one thing i took that took um I learned that I took from that mission trip was just how different people are and just how different the lifestyle is and it's really unique and that one in learning how to like see from a different point of view that's what really helped me grow a lot as a person and how it made me who I am today so that's the one I love about the mission trips and what I took away from it and yeah, I really appreciate you guys' time for listening to me out. I am now going home because I just finished a project and I'm tired. <laughs> Hi, my name is Mara Knoll and I'm a sophomore at the University of Maryland and I've been on the seven mission trips. When Dave asked me to speak about a memory from one mission trip, I honestly just couldn't pick one. As a St. Mark's middle schooler, I had always looked forward to sleeping in the gym with all my friends and Dave screaming at us to wake up in the morning flipping our mattresses left and right. Then we would spend the day helping our local community and stepping out of the St. Mark's bubble we get caught up in sometimes. From middle school, I could never forget spending the day at the Redneck Water Park and racing white vans to each location. And endless paint wars, for sure. Just from the memories made during the middle school mission trips, I couldn't wait till I was old enough for the high school mission trips. In high school, every summer we traveled to a different location. I have been to West Virginia, North Carolina, New York, and Costa Rica. My first mission trip, we took a 30-hour van ride to West Virginia and worked in a rural area. I'll never forget the impact we made in that small community by just building porches and the freezing waterfalls we hiked to. Another summer, we went on a retreat to North Carolina. Even though this trip didn't have any service work involved, it was by far one of my favorite trips for other reasons. 
I had never felt the presence of God like I felt him when we were up in those mountains. On the retreat, we were each pushed out of our comfort zone. Those who were scared of heights had to trust that we would catch them if they fell 50 feet from the leap of faith on the ropes course. The Lord tested every single one of us on our backpacking trip for sure. We hiked for two days on the Appalachian Trail straight uphill for about 18 miles with 50 pound bags on our backs. Water and food were limited, limited and we are all drenched from head to toe by the time we reached the barn where we slept, which was crawling with bats and rats. God tested us on that tre treacherous hike with thunderstorms and injuries. We even made a game called the Apocalypse, where the person who didn't fall at the end of the hike would win. Out of all the great experiences I have shared on mission trips locally, nationally, and internationally, the venture to North Carolina was where I connected with the Lord and made friends in a way that I had never imagined. Through St. Mark's St. Mark mission trips, I have realized I want to pursue a passion in serving others. So I am now on the pre-med track at the University of Maryland, and I have St. Mark's mission trips to thank for helping me discover my place in the world. Hello, St. Mark's. My name is Eric Schwartz. Um, and through middle school and high school, and as a college assistant youth leader at St. Mark's, I probably went to over 10 mission trips. Uh, so I'm excited to share some of my quick memories and things that I learned, uh, things that have stuck with me from mission trips to St. Mark's over the years. Um, my first mission trip, I was in just coming out of sixth grade. We went to Mill Creek, West Virginia. Um, and the thing we were working on was clearing out just a bunch of junk from the backyard of uh, a man named Junior who had Parkinson's. Um, and just some sweet moments with him and just his the gratefulness for the work that we were doing. Uh, that's something that a memory that has stuck with me. Um, another just really memorable trip was in uh, San Ramon, Costa Rica. And explaining the gospel to people who, in a new way, who maybe had heard it but not necessarily heard, uh, had it resonate with them deeply. Uh, and overcoming a language barrier through uh, skits and, and putting on skits and trying to portray the gospel to them even though we didn't speak the same language uh, and just the beauty of that country that's something that stuck with me the beauty of God's creation um, it, when I think about youth group and I think about like what has stuck with me uh, for my time at St. Mark's um, that's where I learned how to how to talk about my faith how to talk about my faith that was mine and not my parents or anybody else's but that was mine uh, how to study, how to even teach, um, and mission trips specifically helped, uh, helped me just learn how when putting the gospel in action, how that, how that works, how, you know, when we love people, we have to also serve. And that's part of loving is, is serving them. Um, I'll never forget the community and the, the fellowship, uh, that came with those, those groups, just being able to, uh, to come together on those trips and to get to know one another uh, and to build those, those lasting relationships. Um, you know, church and, and faith is not meant to be done alone, and those trips were kind of those areas where you could really uh, grow closer to people as you grow closer to God. Um, I think that one of the things that has stuck with me in my life the most and one of the things that I've put into practice in my life is that um, the, the volunteer leaders at, at St. Mark's Youth Group really showed me in a tangible way that, um, that you don't have to be clergy or paid staff to be in ministry. That ministry is, is whatever you make it. Ministry is, is following God's leading and, and serving, uh, whether it's on, on your night off or your weekends um, and, and serving in youth. You don't, have to be, uh, you don't have to be a priest. You don't have to be a paid youth minister. You don't have to be a paid clergy uh, to serve and that God calls us all to serve. And that's something that's stuck with me in my life. Um, so I'm really excited to hear the other memories uh, and thanks. Hey guys, my name's Amber. Uh, I went to St. Mark's uh, as a kid growing up in school and I uh, went there at, throughout high school for church and you know, as a young adult, um, I had the privilege of going on some mission trips both while I was in school and as a youth leader in my college days. Uh, so when Dave asked me to do this video, I was thinking back on all the amazing mission trips that I've been on. You know, I've gotten to go to New York, Costa Rica, West Virginia, uh, and Tennessee. 
and was trying to think of some of my, you know, most memorable moments from each of those trips and which ones impacted me the most. And uh, I want to talk a little bit about my trip to Nashville. Uh, it was an interesting trip because I think that all of the the kids, the students going on the trip were all girls. And so I asked, to, I got asked to go kind of last minute to help be another female youth leader on the trip. And, um, you know, it was really cool. We went to Nashville and we got to do basically a different nonprofit every day and go and uh, learn about different uh, ways that you can give back to your community basically right through different nonprofits and we did a lot of things like feeding the homeless sorting through clothes at a veterans um, nonprofit and other things but you know the most memorable thing for me of course you know at the end of every mission trip we get to do something fun and so on this one we actually got to go splunking which is cave diving kind of and uh, you know we got to go basically under some caves in Tennessee and crawl through and go through all of these muddy places and it was terrifying uh, and I was really scared during it and you know what I remember about that time is just all the encouragement from the girls towards each other and towards the leaders of like you know we got this we can do this together um, and praying while we were down there and uh, what that makes me think of is just like, we can get through anything with God's help and um, you know, with our fellow followers in Christ. And so uh, you know, that even now, like it brings back some really um, emotional memories for me because you know, like when we go through trying times and we go through a lot of fear, it's, it's, a, it's really hard to have courage to walk through them. Whether it's something in your everyday life or it's something you know, like crawling through a really small space um, under the earth, you know? And, and so it's really important to me. And back then it showed me how important it was to surround myself with uh, people that I could count on to uh, lead me back, you know, to Jesus and help me to remember that God's always got my back. Thank you for sharing your memories and what you've gotten out of the mission trips. Because it brings back many memories for me as well when you talk about them. And I have some precious memories from from every mission trip I've ever been on. And sometimes I might forget, but you always help to uh, jog my memory. Thanks again. And also, if you like these, let me know, and we'll try to get some more in the future. Let's stay connected. Uh-oh, you're evaluating my work. I am. Are you subscribed? I will with a red button. And give us a thumbs up. I'm a fan. Of course.